day one. <laughs> Day one, Matthew Stevenson and I, Tonquin Valley Adventure. Um, we had plans to shoot Edith Cavell this morning. We even stayed at the hostel and like a three minute walk to the lake. Uh, it's the only mountain in all of Jasper that's socked in by clouds, so we decided to make a dash for it to Patricia Lake. Uh, as Pyramid Mountain seems to be the only thing that's actually catching any light right now, so hopefully we'll get there in time. It's a bit of a rush. Um, we have 10 minutes till sunrise, and we're still driving. We've got about two minutes to get there, so. We made it <laughs> with time to spare. This is my first vlog, guys. Check it out. What did you say? I said check it out. Oh, I thought you said cut it out. <laughs> no. Well, you should cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> Some nice glow on the peak. Get Matthew out of bed early. Yep, pretty excited to be here. <laughs> so this is the photo, more or less. It's shooting super wide including some of the grasses in the foreground, try and create some foreground interest and nice light being reflected in the water and nice light on the peaks, nice color in the cloud. It's just a nice, nice scene. Well, the light has come and gone. The peak seems to have lost its light. It was hitting these ones over here these two um, but there must be a cloud or something over there there was a big system moving in over there so blocking the Sun so some nice colors and clouds still but I think that'll be the peak of the light so I'm gonna throw the image of this one up on the screen for you right now hope you enjoy it more from Tonquin Valley coming up Well guys, day one hike to Tonquin Valley. This is the goal right here. Let's see ramparts. You now they're kind of shrouded in cloud. Uh, there's definitely some rain kind of coming in and out. So we've been kind of battling that, but I just, we're filtering water right now. So I thought I'd show you guys a bit of the scenery. We've got mountains everywhere, dramatic peaks, crazy, crazy color in the water. I mean, it's, all colors it's really pretty um, really wet though mud is just it's pretty bad so we are battling through it's not an easy hike we aren't moving very quickly we're only I think we're about 13 K in we have another seven or so to go today and both 
Mikey and I are wiped. So trek, <laughs> trekking through mud in the backcountry is exhausting with a 40 pound pack. So who knew? Anyway, we are on our way there. Stay tuned. My surprise point tonight. Hopefully we get some good shots tonight. We'll see. Like I said, the clouds and stuff are pretty well kind of socking in that area. Surprise point isn't where we're going to be. That's kind of over here. And then the second day we're at Amethyst Lake, right at the base of these things. So that's kind of the goal. But we're going to see kind of how things shape up. But anyway, enough of me talking. Day two, Tonquin trip. Day two, the sun's been out this morning. We did see sun this morning, it was nice. We're still getting pelted with rain. Um, it was a rainy, rainy night. You've seen some of the trail already from yesterday. Uh, we did 19K? 19K, and it was a blast. 19K yesterday, it's a surprise point. And I just wanted to show you guys this. This is why, this is the one recommended campsite. Um, in the entire, well, besides Amethyst, but those are the ramparts here. So, but there's just so many crazy peaks all the way around this. So, and you get views of all of them from the campsite. So, it's pretty incredible. So, the trail here, <laughs> questionable. <laughs> questionable at best. <laughs> at best, uh, especially if it's raining. But I don't know. The views make it worthwhile, I think. We'll see. But onwards, we only got a short day today, 5k to Amethyst, and then we'll set up probably in the rain again. And we'll see if we can't get a picture of these bad boys here. If not, well, I guess it's too bad. I'll time up something maybe. But anyway, cheers guys. We made it to Amethyst campsite. Uh, only 5k, but it was through heavy, heavy downpour. It let up for about five minutes, just to let us set our tent up. And then um, kind of downpoured again. We decided we'd make some lunch. It is chicken blanket and noodles. More or less slop, but um, I wanted to show you guys because it might not happen again, but the sun's peeked through and given us just a little view of the ramparts here. And so our spirits are lifted. We weren't sure we were gonna see them, so. But I, in, I pulled my telephoto lens out and I snapped a couple photos, so I'm gonna throw one of those up there for you to check out right now. Weather has descended on us again. Ramparts covered in rain. It's rained on and off all day. We had a window of opportunity this afternoon. We we grabbed it. Got some telephoto shots of the clouds breaking up over the ramparts here, and then even got a wide angle look and a time lapse of that. So I'm gonna throw that up on the screen right away. First, I kind of we're there's a lot of drama kind of going on right here, and it's pretty cool. There's a lot of if you can see, I'm gonna try and show you, but a lot of interesting peaks out here that are kind of got all the clouds swirling around. So hoping we can come up with something quick here with a telephoto. I don't know where Matthew is. I'm gonna try, I had to get out quick before the drama was happening. So we are gonna flip you around and show you what's up. Check out this business right here. Get this. Out of here. Oh man. Sorry, bud. Sorry. We found Matthew. <laughs> We're not going to do any telephoto shots of that. <laughs> so 
we're gonna have to make do with maybe you know some of these jagged spires in here so we'll give him we'll give him some time sorry about that folks Matthew's finished his business, so we decided together we're going to go check out these peaks over here. Um, you're on my only tripod, so you're going to have to believe me when you, I say that they're pretty epic. But um, just a telephoto lens, 7200, 2.8, it weighs enough, three and a half pounds to carry it in. Uh, wasn't fun, but it's worth it when you have the reach to kind of get those tight vignettes of the landscape so um, right now I'm zooming in on some peaks over here I will turn you around so you can see them um, but and so kind of talk through the composition of what I'm hoping to accomplish here so so here are the ramparts uh, are kind of the entire thing and there's a lot of drama kind of happening right now um, it's creating really kind of well there's a lot of kind of goodness going on around some of these peaks. So I'd like to compose something um, that's kind of like that, fairly dramatic and moody. And I'm a big fan of these kind of spires. And so I'm gonna try and create something out of it. Um, my problem is, is it's really unbalanced. So I have, you know, nothing here and it kind of keeps building up. So I'm gonna try and compose it so that it's kind of a corner to corner type thing. So we'll see what I can come up with, um, but it's just incredibly, incredibly awesome space. Even though we haven't seen any, well, we've seen each peak individually today, but none of them together. So tomorrow morning, we're hoping for a good sunrise and we'll see what happens. Only time will tell, but so I'm gonna be, keep playing with this scene, uh, see what I can come up with. And I'm gonna throw up on the screen for you guys right now. Um, we're not photoed out yet. Hopefully, there's one more to come. There's one. Hopefully, there's one more to come tomorrow morning at sunrise. The good thing about sunrise is we have the ramparts here, and east is kind of over here. So we get direct light on some of the tallest peaks in the Rockies. This <laughs> guy. <laughs> It's really, really, really fun vlogging with someone right next to you. <laughs> Being a supportive. Yeah, you dad. sound like, why is this important? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, hope you enjoy the photo I'm throwing up here and you enjoyed the time lapse and stuff before that. There's going to be quite a bit of content in this video. So if you stuck through to now, cheers and stay tuned for sunrise tomorrow. Peace. Well, sunrise just wasn't in the cards for this trip. Woke up to rain in our tent after it had rained the entire night before. Leaving the last morning, just like the others, socked in with cloud. We're happy campers. <laughs> there was no sunrise this morning. Um, woke up to rain on the tent. Uh, so we figured 
don't know. What do you think? Eight hours of eight hours of like non actual rain. non rain. Not that it was nice, but we had a brief ten minutes of sunshine the other day. It was glorious. It was. They made the trip. <laughs> yeah, definitely worth it. Uh, so a little sunrise pick, but you'll see what I threw up already. So I don't know. Both of us kind of give this a seven out of ten ish in that range. Mostly the uh, the lovely trail conditions. What about this doesn't look fun? <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of what we're battling today. We got 20 kilometers of this just slop to walk through and we'll get to eat slop at lunch. And <laughs> we will uh, Catch you guys in the next vlog. Landing in here and uh, try not to fall in ankle deep mud, which has happened already. So, without further ado, Tonquin Valley 2019, because who knows, there could be another one. It's a beautiful, beautiful spot. Highly recommend it. Do not come in rain, though. It's bad. So, talk later. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.